Hi right, y'all, so this video is gonna be a little bit different. Y'all know me for the monkey videos or whatever, but what y'all don't know is I'm in a fashion, bro. Like, I'm gonna start expanding. In this video, we got the top 10 low-key streetwear brands you should know about. All right, so starting at number one, we got Neighborhood Hero NYC. So this is actually my friend's brand. Shout out my son Zay, he been doing his thing. He been popping and shit when it comes to this brand stuff, feel me? He been in this for a long time. And I'm not gonna lie, bro, bro been putting on. So, or just recently, bro actually made these flared studded sweatpants. It was just hard. I still gotta give me a pair. I keep baiting, cause every time, bro, every time I get paid, my money goes elsewhere. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I've been baiting. My favorite colorway has to either be the red or black or the brown and yellow. I have to get that one. And I'm wear it. I'm gonna have a fit for those. I'm not gonna lie. This summer, Zay, I know you're gonna be watching this because I'm gonna send it to you. This summer, I'm not gonna lie. Just I'm gonna send you red. Just send me a care package at of a neighborhood hero. I'm on my influence at Tommy. I'm on my influence at Tommy. <laughs> As of the past drops, bro been on like the calm like sweats, shorts, t-shirts, but I'm at his close friends and all I can say is he cooking up. Well, I can say is I'm ready for when he drops, because when he drops, I'm, I'm first in line. I want to I to switch up my fashion, and I guess he's switching up his style. That's all I can say. That is all I can say. If y'all don't know, I can't tell you. Man, <laughs> shit ain't got serious, man. <laughs> but feel me, we're going to go on to the next brand you did. First thing first, shout out Justo, right? His brand is called Guilty Pleasures, right? I'm not going to lie, bro has a unique sense of fashion when it comes to this, but from the looks of it like i'm not gonna lie when i was walking on campus and stuff bro just has a unique sense of fashion like i'm not glazing him. i'm not glazing him. Hey, you right you right i'm glazing i'm glazing i'm glazing i'm sorry i'm sorry he recently dropped these hard shirts it's like a black shirt but the colorway of the shirt is black red and it has some white hints it, it kind of looks like hellstar like the, the style of it i guess the theme like i don't know how to explain it but bro put his own spin on it so it's really his feel me he also dropped these like heavyweight hoodies and they're hard as hell like i'm not gonna lie the logo for those hoodies, when I first seen it, I'm like, I need one. I still got to give me one, bro. I, I'm saving all of this buying that I have to do for, like, my my whole video. So, when when I get everything secured, just know y'all going to have a video. Feel me? Word. I actually found this on TikTok while I was scrolling. It popped up on my For You page. And ever since then, I think been like, I just, everything he drops is just, it's just the hit. So just recently he dropped phone cases actually, and I'm not gonna lie, I cop like two of them. So just wait for those to come in. I wait for those to come in. They should be here like tomorrow, honestly. Phone case hard as hell. I won't be walking around with no phone case no more. I was literally walking around with a, no phone case until I found the hard phone case. And I'm not gonna lie, I found one. Like, who you know dropping stuff like this? And these are handmade, you see it. So I ordered one and it should be here tomorrow. I also texted where I'm like, how many subscribers I need for like a partnership, like a sponsor, something for a care package. I, how? Mis misery how many do i need please tell me bro does not only make phone cases he also makes um denims and i'm pretty sure he made a hoodie before don't quote me on it but everything bro makes is hard and especially the fact that most of it being handmade is just i'm not gonna lie you got talent so this is definitely somebody that i could see blowing up in this clothing brand stuff and like this this year i won't lie i can see him blowing up this year at first i won't lie i thought club 60 was the most simplistic brand ever and it was just overhyped no shade, but then they dropped these cargo hoodies, and that sold my opinion. That changed my whole opinion. I'm like, oh yeah, now they're hard. Then after they dropped the cargo hoodies, they dropped nylon shorts. They also have these denim stacks. They have this vest. This is a vest that's hard as hell. And I'm not gonna lie, their prices are reasonable. Like people on TikTok do like, oh, prices at 75. No. Like if Dior made it, you was paying 500, 600, 700 for for a shoe. Like you was paying a thousand dollars for some shorts that Dior made. Cop the Club 60 for $100, bro. Like, come on. Club 60, I'm not gonna lie. They, they, they've been in a bag. Like, there's this cargo hoodie, and it gives you the option to have, the, you know, like, the regular hood, and then there's a hood that just comes, like, from here to here. And it's, like, basically, it's basically a ski mask, but in a hoodie version, feel me? And they also give you the choice to have front pockets or no pockets. So it's, like, they're really giving you, like, the idea to create your own hoodie even though they're selling the hoodie i mean i need both that's all i'm saying i need both if the the owner of club 60 is watching this if you see this text me because I, I need it i need it i won't lie to you i need it i need it now for my folks that's into like feel me the oversized like the heavyweight hoodies all that 
I just found out about this brand. It popped up on my Instagram Explore page, and I clicked it because I remember seeing No Glaze. I remember seeing Che Romani in one of these hoodies, but I'm not sure if it's from this brand. I'm pretty sure it's from Bane. It has the same look. So the brand is called Soundless Era, and they have like these parachute hoodies. It's a heavyweight hoodie, but the top of the hood, the hood part, it, it's literally like a huge hood. And I don't know why, but that concept has always been hard to me. Like, I want to make something like that. I actually have something like that in the vault, so stick around, yeah? Stick around. Next on the list is for my people in, in, the, in the underground community. Like, if you listen to underground music, you most likely know this brand. It's called Anti-Bane. Anti-Bane, however you want to pronounce it. Only thing wrong is, bro, when are you dropping? Because I need, I, like, <laughs> I know you dropped on Christmas or, like, around Christmas last year. And... The site been closed since, so I need, like, I need my Bane. I don't know, I don't care if you don't drop, just come on, like, we gotta work something out, cause, word, that, you too tough. Anti-Bane is a brand that most people should know about, especially if you listen to underground music, because I'm not gonna lie, I didn't see a lot of rappers in the underground community pop out in Bane, and I'm not gonna lie, their whole, like, persona, what the brand is about is fine, I won't lie to you, I will not lie to you. I need mine, white collar wheel. When I send you this, I don't know if you're gonna see it, but give me a bang please 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 like i can throw that shit on like i can what's that what's that pose they be doing it's like I, bro come on i got model like attributes if you want me to be six foot i could go like this i'm six foot now i'm not gonna lie the only reason i know this brand is because a blue face video where he had this like mo here zip up and i did my research and i found the brand that same like 10 minutes after I seen the video. They make everything from glasses to leather shorts to, they make everything, I won't lie to you. They make rings and it's just like, everything about them, no glaze. Nah, everything about them is unique. Like, I don't know, but. Um, if you're watching this, I need that goddamn mo here. So restock or like, <laughs> send it in. <laughs> I need that. <laughs> so. I'm not gonna lie, I just found out about this brand myself, but from what I've seen, everything they make is hard. Like, I won't even lie to you. They have, when it comes to the jackets, the 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 work jackets, like the Carhartt type of theme, they have that down pack. Like, that's their niche. That's their, that's their specialty. And every single time they put something out in that aspect, it's hard. Like... Go shop. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not even getting paid to promo. Like, <laughs> go shop though. That they they're hard. I won't lie. If you if you're on TikTok, you should definitely know this brand. I won't lie to you, cause bro done he done turned up the scene. I won't lie. Adore Capri. Shout out Capri, man. I'm not gonna lie. He done turned up the scene. Something crazy. I won't lie to you. Feel me? And I seen a lot of y'all trying to copy the wave, but let bro do his thing. Find your old wave. That's what's gonna make you pop for real. Cause once you find something you can and you can only do how you do it, people gonna try to recreate that. And it's like you can't do that, bro. I got the source. Feel me? So that's the only reason I like that's I really mess with twin brand cause of that. And then it's just hard in general. Bro's dropping these three D printed shorts. Like I know that they're influenced by vertebrae because of the print, but they're also like feel me ash wash. It's like it's calm. But besides besides that, bro's brand is like it's overall ten out of ten when it comes to creativity. When it comes to marketing, I'm not gonna lie, he, he's tough at marketing. Like, he'd be on my For You page. I don't understand how. I don't. He's just there. Even when I made a new account to um post my clips from, like, monkey videos, bro was still on my For You page. Most of y'all know Kwan and Cozy. I'm not gonna mention his brand. It's, not, it's like, no, no, not no shade or nothing, but I want to shine light on somebody who is affiliated with Kwan. Feel me? It's not like I'm not throwing shade or nothing like that. No shade at all. But shout out to Eliante, man. E man, Abdul. If you know, you know. Feel me? Eliante's brand is called Archives ATL. I won't lie. Hard as hell. I won't lie. I will say most of the stuff, I don't want to say it's simplistic, but it's like, it's calm to the point that it's fine. You know what I mean? 